area. Just show us what you're doing. Yeah. So we're going to do just some easy cocktails. Um, first one is going to be a, a gin cocktail. See, I, I, you know what? I keep trying gin, and I keep saying, I think I like that. But then I get past, like, two or three sips, and I'm like, I don't know if really? I do like that. I've never Maybe had a full a drink gin. with gin in it. Maybe you don't like the juniper in it? I don't know. It, so it, it, ours is a little bit less juniper, more citrus. Uh, okay. So right now we're doing uh, an ounce and a half of uh, Litchfield gin. Uh, made right here in Litchfield, Connecticut. Uh, we're doing some ripe lemon sour, so three ounces of ripe lemon sour. We're going to give that a quick shake. <laughs> and then... And that's, uh, just, you've brought that on before, but people can buy this at the store. Yes. And it's, instead of yes. those mixers that are really oh, not good for all, you... This is so delicious. This it's all natural. Cold press. Cold press, fresh, uh, fresh ingredients. And then we're doing a little cassis on top just to get what a little bit of cassis. Cassis, it's a, it's a black raspberry liqueur. Oh, yeah. okay. And this is called, what is it called again? Ripe. Oh, ripe. Yep. Yeah, ripe. So this is something you can buy and then keep at your own summer bar at home. And yes, it'd be better and than it'll last. Using, it, is it, it like instead of triple sack or something? Uh, instead of uh, just having to have lemons and limes around and stuff like that, and oh, make okay. it, it's, a, it's a really good um, kind of like lemonade. I think you cut it with a little water and it's a lemonade. Okay. So. That's good. That's really good. I like good. the paper straw. You're not lying yeah. to me. No, no, no. Okay, good. I like All it. Right. I don't know <laughs> if I can do a whole drink of this. But, <laughs> but would you vote for that? I would have to see what well, the other two are. Let's see what the other two are. So we're going bourbon now. So we're doing our, our Litchfield bourbon. Okay. Uh, we're doing an ounce and a half. This is called the Litchfielder cocktail. So this is uh, one of the cocktails that we designed at the distillery, uh, you know, to help people uh, sell it in their bars and then something to enjoy at home as well. So mm -hmm. we have maple syrup okay. is our sweetener which we actually aged this maple syrup in our barrels. See that? Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's really cool. Nice. Check it out. All right, so we And then we're doing a little lemon juice. So we're doing an, uh, an ounce and a half. Lemon juice goes in everything, apparently. I love lemon juice. Yeah. I'm Greek. I put lemon juice on everything. Oh, right, right, right. Course. Any oregano in there? No. Uh, we could. I've done oregano cocktails. Uh, and then uh, mm. just a quick shake. So it's simple. An uh, ounce and a half of the bourbon, a uh, half an ounce of the maple syrup, okay. and three quarters of an ounce of the lemon juice. Okay. And then we're just going to do it quick. So bourbon usually needs a little sweetener to go with it. It, it, I mean, I like to drink my bourbon neat, but uh, when in cocktails, yes, definitely a little bit of uh, a little sweetener, uh, a little bit of of uh, citrus always makes a pop. So this is bourbon, a bourbon base. That's a bourbon based cocktail, and that's the one we call the Litchfielder. Okay. I have my favorite of these two okay. so far. Okay, all right. We'll see so now three. we're going number three. So this is a riff on a, so we're using vodka this time. Let's feel vodka. Okay. Uh, this is a little riff on a Cosmo. So we're doing two ounces of vodka. Oh, uh, we're going to do a little bit of elderflower I instead of triple sec. I already know triple 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 Yeah, I think we're going. Anyway. <laughs> I knew you'd like this what one. What you normally drink. It's we're cranberry going. juice and vodka and sweet and stuff. We're going right for the good stuff here. <laughs> so we're doing a half an ounce of this uh, bold elderflower. We're doing some, a little half ounce. Lemon juice? Of, no, we're doing lime with this one. Lime, lime. okay. <laughs> put so the lime for a in this one, yeah. And then we're doing some of this cranberry. This is so also... This, this ripe brand, uh, to see it, it's craft juice. That they have it in lemon and they have it in cranberry. Okay. Cranberry, they have a whole bunch of uh, okay. different... Um, they have a mojito that. mix, they have a margarita mix. So you don't have to do all the work right, they if do. we're not as great as you are, we can use that and be confident 100%. it's going to yes. taste good. Yeah. yeah, the margarita, you just add tequila, shake, and that's it. Oh. Cold, cold yeah. And it doesn't have all the junk in it. No, yeah. nothing. It's all natural. Where do you get it? Uh, you get it whole has them. Uh, a lot of liquor stores have them. Okay. Yeah. Trace, uh, Trace, didn't I do with, with Ripe? Is, is that the company? Yeah, I, that's the story. Yeah, they were here recently, yeah. Yeah, I did the story uh, with them. I think you had JD oh, with, with you. Yeah, that's the place I went. Oh, they're in New Haven. Yeah, they're in New Haven. Haven. They're great. They're yeah, they're great. That's awesome. Okay, filtered water, cranberry juice, organic evaporated cane sugar. That's all that's in this. Yeah. Northeast blend. There okay. you go. Ooh. And it's great because... I don't even have to guess. Like, that's his I, I knew this was going That's why I did it last. <laughs> It looks like Scott always has a pink drink. <laughs> okay. So here's one. Here's two. And here's three. This one you can give to a cow. <laughs> that yeah. one. 